Hello and welcome to my channel. I am so glad you're here to learn about the best sweet potato fries and sauce that you're ever going to have. It is so simple and so easy, but so delicious. So the first thing I'm doing is actually securing my cutting board. I had just cleaned the potatoes, that's why the cutting board is wet. And if you just dampen a paper towel and put it underneath your cutting board, it does not move. And you know sweet potatoes are misshapen. So we're gonna do the best we can and we're gonna take the ends off and we are gonna cut them in half and then we are going to cut each half into eighths. And I take the little end pieces and I put them into a freezer bag. You can see this bag is very stuffed because it is time to make a batch of bone broth. So we are gonna continue to cut these sweet potatoes as best you can. They're not gonna be perfect, but like I said, you wanna get about eight pieces per half so each one makes 16 so that would be 32 sweet potato fries total i have been hooked on sweet potato fries they are so delicious i can't even get enough of them so i'm putting these on a parchment paper lined baking sheet I love baking with parchment paper, especially for things like this, because it does actually allow for there to be a crust on the sweet potato. I think it just browns better than if you were to just put it directly on the baking sheet. So we're gonna drizzle with just a little bit of olive oil. You could also use grapeseed oil or avocado oil. And I like using pink Himalayan sea salt because it has tons of minerals that are really good for you. And I substitute it with just regular salt. So you can do the same thing and just use regular salt if you'd like. And then I like to put a lot of pepper. And by a lot of pepper, I mean a ton of black pepper all over my fries and really, all over like everything that I eat. I really love me some pepper. And by the way, it's high in antioxidants. It's super good for you. So might as well get it in. Next slice we're gonna use is paprika. And paprika actually pairs very well with orange um, vegetables. And so I think it's just kind of like the mild heat from the paprika really pairs with the sweetness of the sweet potato and other like um, orange vegetables like carrots or butternut squash. And we're gonna use the best tools in our kitchen, which are our hands, and we're gonna massage these sweet potatoes, get all the oil and all the seasoning to completely coat the fries. And you just use as much seasoning as you like to have them coated as you like. The next step is to just arrange all the sweet potatoes on the baking sheet to where they do have some space around them. That way they can get brown on all sides. Once they are perfectly arranged and you have everything this way you want, you're gonna bake them at 425 degrees. For first 15 to 20 minutes, my oven did 17 minutes, so you can start with that. Honestly, if you go a little bit over, it's not gonna burn them. And while that first roast is going on, we're gonna make our fry sauce. And I'm using my homemade grapeseed oil mayo, just a tablespoon of that. Then we're gonna get the sriracha, and we are gonna use half a tablespoon. And if the thing will open, oh, it didn't open. There we go, put about half a tablespoon in that little dish. And I am using the same dish that I'm gonna dip in because I don't like to dirty too many dishes. And we're gonna use about an eighth of a teaspoon of garlic powder. You could pre-make this sauce because actually it's really good, not only for a fry sauce, but I like to drizzle it over roasted Brussels sprouts and then top it with some roasted cashews, super delicious, or over a sushi bowl. You're gonna love it. Now, once the first roast is done, all you're gonna do is flip all of the sweet potatoes over to the other flat side. Now, obviously there's more than one side. So on the ones that are wedges, it's really easy to determine, you know, what side it is. Cause there's the other one side it can go on or you flip it completely over. And I have been cooking a long time and I don't know why I think it's just a good idea to use my fingers, but I get in a hurry and I just don't want to dirty any more dishes. So we're just going to flip all of them over and then it's going to go back into the oven and for about 10 to 15 minutes. And keep in mind, these are not gonna be crispy like you deep fried them. They are roasted, but they are gonna hold up and be so delicious, you've gotta try it. See how golden brown and delicious they are when they come out? And this time I served it with a bunless burger and then um, I had some green beans on the side. 
I sure hope you like this recipe. Actually, I know you're gonna like it if you try it. So please let me know if you try it. Let me know if you have any questions. I would love for you to subscribe and I really hope I get to see you next time. Have a great day and take care of yourself.